Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You know I've been loving my French manicures lately and I recently wanted to try and put a fun twist on the traditional standard French manicure. So I came up with this kind of spongy, natural, gradient French manicure with a little bit of sparkle in it and I'm gonna show you how I created it now. Since my nails are currently done, I'm going to be using one of these clear swatch sticks. I bought a pack of like 100 of these so I feel like I'm gonna be using them a lot in the future. Off camera, I quickly refiled the nails so that it was an almond shape and then I I went ahead, applied the pH bond, and one coat of foundation. For some reason that footage got messed up, but here's me curing that first coat. When I pull it out, you can see the almond shape that I filed and how the first coat cured. So far, I'm really loving these swatch sticks. From here, I'm going to grab Jellish's Feeling Flirty. This is from the 2022 Spring Collection, I believe, and I've been wanting to use this color forever. It's like a sheer pink tint polish with some sparkles sprinkled throughout. It's really beautiful, so I just did one coat of this onto the nail and I'm going to cure it now. You don't have to go all the way to the end of the nail if you don't want to. You can leave your tip bare, um, but for this purpose, I decided to paint the whole nail. I'm curing that under my lamp for a little bit, once that's done, this is where the fun begins. I'm going to be using my favorite white polish from Jellish, Chic White, and I'm painting just a little tip at the top, just a tiny little bit. And then I cut the corner of a sponge. You can use honestly any sponge. This was the only sponge I had when I was trying to create this manicure, so that's what I used. It is a clean sponge, and I'm just going to lightly dab it around the tip of the nail to kind of mimic that white part of the nail. I'm adding a little bit more white to make it pop a bit and continuing to dab. Did anyone ever paint pottery and you did like sponge painting? This is what that reminds me of. It's practically foolproof. If you are someone who has a hard time painting the white tip of a French manicure, this is definitely going to be for you. As you can see here, it looks very similar to my actual thumbnail. I'm going to pop it in the lamp, cure it, pull it out, and do this one more time. Now this is optional depending on how deep and opaque you want that white, but the best part about this is you really can't mess it up. It can be a little sloppy, the white can trail down the sides of the nail a little bit, um, it could be as thin or as thick as you want, but it's really fun and really easy to create. So once that is done, I'm popping it back in the lamp to cure before pulling it out and applying a nice generous top coat. I'm using Jellish's Top It Off, painting this over the entire nail, capping the edge, and then popping it back in the lamp one more time. When it's done, I am going to grab my alcohol spray and just spritz it on the nail using a cotton round to remove that sticky layer and we are basically done. It's kind of hard to see it on this clear, but here it is up against my skin and you can see it really does mimic a natural nail. It looks like the manicure that's currently on my nails and I am so in love with this. I'm gonna be doing this mani again and again and again for many years to come. I cannot believe how easy it was. I may even try to recreate it without the glitter portion and do more of a gradient look. Working with that regular old yellow sponge was completely doable but you can use a beauty blender a makeup sponge whatever you have when I did this mani last week it was the only sponge I had um, and I was like let me try to use this and it worked great so I had a lot of fun creating this if you decide to give it a try come back leave me a comment and let me know how it goes you can always send me a picture of your mani to at underscore Amanda Bella and please let me know if you'd like to see more easy tutorials like this in the future Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.